Black in the middle bag. This bag here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. Good night. Just on my way to Mick Wales' show in Mexborough. Just had my tea. And, uh, not far to go, it's just down through here, through Cookhill. Uh, should be a good show. Uh, on good shows and I'm looking forward to it so let's hope it's good eh uh, let's hope that all them boxers that are there tonight they all uh, they all do the best and uh, nobody gets there uh, that's all you can ask for in this sport isn't it that's what I think anyway I just hope they're all, all okay Week that's not been very nice for boxing, has it? But can't just say it's one of them things, can you? Because it's uh, it ain't just one of them things, is it? Somebody's lost a life. And, uh, my own personal opinion is this: there's people who are not connected to Patrick Day by trainer, by his team, Blue De Bella, you know, and all the team around Patrick, there's people not connected to him that are using it to uh, get themselves out there on social media and a lot of YouTube channels as well, they should be ashamed of themselves, they should be ashamed of themselves, They're trying to profit off this and make themselves look good. The same people that are trying to make themselves look good are putting drug cheats on their shows and signing drug cheats. Now, I don't want to mention no names, but let me just tell you this. I've heard a corker today that a certain boxing pro, and I'm not going to use his name because this guy's name's not even worth using no more now, but trying to sign Jarrell Miller and top it, the top ESPN Bob Adams lot. <laughs> hey, hey. And they all want to do good things in boxing. We're going to change the sport, poor Kios. We're going to change it. We're going to make it safer. Yeah, putting to signing uh, drug cheats that not only it's not it's not as if it's an over counter what you're buying Sports Direct is it just to get a pre workout. It's on red, mate. What are you doing to me? It's on red. I mean, stop. It's on red, dickhead! It's on red, mate! So put into sport and blow my way. See you later, mate. Right mode for you today. There go. Quite fast this for a four-wheel drive. I think that remap helped. <laughs> Got. Some got rid of him. Uh, but now there's too many people trying to uh, make the sense look good with this. Well, my opinion, people know my opinion on drug cheats. I think when it's shrouded in mystery, things like that, do you have to give him benefit of doubt? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a fighter, am I? But when I see Gerald Miller going on about, well, you know, and I did inject a few things and I'm coming clean and I'm going to have a break from the sport and the WBA are not getting tough with him and all that. You don't watch with me. It got into your system. It got into your system and that's that, in it? Do you know what I mean? I mean, David Price has lost to two drug cheats, hasn't he? Thompson and that temper. I mean, Dave Allen lost to Ortiz, didn't he? And Lucas Brown, he beat Lucas Brown, but still in, 
still were taking punches off him, wasn't he, David? And I mean, how fair is that? It's not fair, is it? This with his B samples just getting stupid at the moment, isn't it? What about David A then, eh? We'll see on with these days. Stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. David Cost Cutter, hey. The man who used to be trained by Adam Booth! Adam Booth! Go to Adam Booth! Now I shouldn't say that because Adam Booth is actually rated as a world class trainer, so it's just a bit of banter, Adam. Don't take it personally. I actually rate Adam Booth. But I do a lot of fighters and a lot of people in the industry, they always seem to say you should go to Adam Booth. There might be a reason for that, he might be top class trainer, I think he is, personally. But Ultra Tech Sports Roar always digs Adam Booth, Adam Booth out. Some people close to me don't rate Adam Booth, but I do. Some of my pals in London don't rate him, but why not? Took David A to a world title from, me, from turning pro. At heavyweight and cruiserweight, unified champion at cruiser, or one of the undisputed, one of them. I think it might have been, I think he had all belts, didn't he, except one. Ray O'Neill Bella won't fight him. Either way, this is how I look at it. Davy Days was a great fighter. They were held together by his teletape when he came back. He came back for pay per view money, didn't he? Two pay per view, lots of money, because he's a salesman. Looking at David Hay, getting Derek Chisora out there, he's doing a fantastic job, isn't he? He's got a big profile, and Chisora's now in mixed to fight Usyk. David Hay's doing the job correctly, isn't he, for Chisora? He's doing the best for his man, but he's also doing the best for himself as well, isn't he? That's what David Hay's doing. He's doing the best for himself, and as I've just done earlier, every time I mention AB's name on here, I'm gonna go Adam Booth! Go to Adam Booth! But it's not a slight on Adam Booth because I rate Adam Booth. Alright? Now, like I've just said, there's a reason people say go to him because he knows what he's on with, doesn't he? Now, I'd like to think that he knows a little bit more than Darren Barker. Now, Dave Allen went to Adam Booth! Adam Booth! Dave Allen went to Adam Booth! But, he didn't stick it, so he went to Darren, Matchroom Company man, Barker. What happened there? What happened there? Look at that, 131.9. Ha <laughs> ha! I filled up at 127.8 today, unlucky. Uh, Darren Barker. Well, we hammered him on pod of a day, didn't we? Me and Dale Nichols, so I don't need to speak about him. Well, he's had his operation now, they had to remove it out of the back of Eddie Earn. Which is not bad to operations in two years. The other one were a hip operation, but the one before that, after he did his hand, he had his head removed from Barry Earn's rear end. Ooh, ooh. Go on, Darren. People actually poo out there, Darren, you know, we've had your head removed from. You got a problem, Darren? Come see me. Oh, no, 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 it works in this car. I don't use this car much. It's better. What time is it? Oh, I'll just get there. Do you know what I forgot? I forgot my pull ups, and I? It's because I'm not with program, am I? I'm not with program. My glasses are dirty as well. But David A, bigging up Chisora. Chisora's got nine losses, by the way. Three of them, he was iced. Three of them who was iced. Price has been iced six times. Chisora's nine defeats. So they've got 15 defeats on the record. Nine of them have been icings. So we've got a price against Chisora at the weekend. Nine knockouts, 15 defeats between a pair of them. Go on then, mate, get by me. That time must be hearing things. Uh, so Chisora Price, I'm gonna go for. 
David Price. David Price to stick behind the job and fool everybody. I'm going to say David Price fools everybody and he beats Chisora over 12 rounds on points. I'm going to go totally and utterly off the radar and go for points. That's what I'm going to go for, points. Big pricey, big truck. I'm going to go for big truck on points, that's what I'm going for. You got a problem with that? Come see me. Oh, it trolls that have been trolling me. I don't know, I'll have a look on Friday on YouTube. I don't look at YouTube trolls now. I know there's a few, they keep setting accounts up, don't they? <laughs> I'm loving it because my pals keep telling me about it. They wouldn't do that if I weren't getting somewhere, would they? They didn't used to do that. <laughs> Setting accounts up. What next? The no contest po no contacts porky or context or something, whatever. It's all good stuff, innit? It? It's all good stuff. You gotta laugh, aren't you? You gotta laugh. If you don't laugh, you're crying boxing, don't you? Look at them going for a curry. Go with spice. Hey, what's all that about? What is all that about? Yeah, they're also from here. Look. Not looking good, is it, for the parking situation? I don't like, I always like to take two spots, don't I? Is I get in there? So there's no parking. A lot of cars here to neat. A lot of cars here to neat. Whoops a daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Have a look. Have a look. I'll go over here. Rock and glass there. It's my extra for you, isn't it? Stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding glass. Well, I think that's about it, really. I don't think I can't remember what else I'm going to talk about. So we'll. Uh, We'll continue with this later, after I've done some filming, alright? I'll get my memory into gear then. Alright, so... Peace out.
to it's a walk onto it every time. So we should look a lot better there in the trade. So we can come in, jump in the book, mate, walk through it and walk through charging in like that. Charging like a bull I told you once again for the sound. Just lick him up, move away, tip it off. Then pick him up, pick it off, one, two, straight down with it. Yeah, feel okay. Good. Yeah, good. Keep going, keep it long this time, we keep it jammed when it comes in on the open foot, it runs in like that. It runs in like that, we both feel like we're facing down, sticking up there. Work, keep it up.
Good work, Jim. Get back the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good work, Jim. 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 Good work, Jim.
out there off now. This is one and a half minutes off. Deep so deep we, need to, yeah. we need to dig. He's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. Do not give him a sniff of coming back in. Yeah, keep him, keep him. You take the centre. You take the centre of the ring, keep him long. Start going in there, he's tired. Get that right up to that body, yeah? Slow him down. You're doing good? When you go back there, please. Big round. Okay. Yeah. 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 Work. You're picking him, moving away, and coming again with a two phase attack. Yeah? Don't let go of the trunk. Yeah. Got to be a big and he's going to come all guns blazing. Yeah. Step yeah. it straight on. Double jab. Down. 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 Down.
forgot it's Kev the Rock. Kev the Rock, I'll, I'll give it for you, mate. <laughs>
And it keeps that big defect from there. Push him back. Push him back to his chest before he finishes. Yeah. 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 Fifteen. What weight are you? Sixty-four kilograms. Sixty-four kilograms. You've the Lord. The Lord of Ritual. You're as an amateur to learn your trade. Well, you're a good trainer, aren't you? Yep. We're looking forward to turning pro in a few years. Yeah, definitely. Especially these two. Yeah. And mates. Yeah. What's your name? Mason. Mason. What's Mason your? boxes as well. Yeah, you're an amateur as well. Yeah, yeah. Graham. 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 Yeah. Team. Yeah. 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 Y
the Team Titans. Team Titans. Team Titans. All the best team will you take care. Well done. See you, mate. See you, mate. Oh, 
the semi final. This is what this is, yeah? 60 kilo. 60 kilo, yeah.
America. Bye. Joined by Eddie Hardy. How are you doing, Eddie? Good, thanks. Yeah, good, uh, thank you. You won this tournament last year, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Uh, NABGCs. National Association. Yeah. yeah. How are you yeah. feeling? All right. Yeah, feeling good. What weight is it you've just won out? Uh, Sixty kilos. So you're into so, the final then? Yeah, into the final. And when's that, Eddie? Uh, Saturday in Leeds. Saturday. Yeah, yeah. How's the training going? It's going well, thanks. So good what what gym are you boxing out of? Uh, Highfields Amateur Boxing Club in Doncaster. In Doncaster, yeah. yeah. Who's your trainer? Uh, John's my trainer. John? Yeah, John Lucemore. John Lucemore. How are you doing, John? How are you doing, mate? All right. Uh, he's, uh, he's a bit special, this kid, isn't he? Yeah, very I've talented. I've heard a few kid. things uh, about him, Mike. Uh, you won last year, obviously, you won it last year, this yeah. tournament. And I could tell when you got it in, like, you're a real deal. And this is another member of your team. Yeah, this is Elvin. Elwin, how are you doing, Elwin? I'm alright, how are you? I'm alright, how many years are you going to stay out of before you go pro? Because yeah, I think I'm going to stay a few years, do a year of seniors, we know Eddie has one just to get used to it, and then I'll probably turn around after yeah, that. We'll be queuing up for you when you go pro, won't we? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah. And you're just going to stick at it as an amateur? Yeah, stick at it, at it. a few more years, if more experience. Are you going up to McCracken to put the IS? Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. been up there a few times, playing with the England squad. And are you looking to go into it? The Olympics or yeah, yeah, like no, that. Yeah, hopefully, if you get out to things are You're 17, aren't you? You've got yeah, Wilder, you? Yeah, just turned 17. Just turned. Yeah. Well, yeah, you are a bit special. So, listen, all the best. Yeah. Good luck in your future. You know, a pleasure to see you for the first time. Thank you for that. Thank you very, Thank much. very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Owen. You too. Thank you for that. Fucking hell. to be good here or so. Uh, I've just seen, I've just seen a kid there fighting, right? Eddie Hardy is called, 60 kilo. He were champion last year. National champion, is it? National Association. He's just turned 17. Oh, he's a bit special in. He's really special. He'll go out way him. He'll go out way him. Really enjoyed it tonight there. Pity the Mickey's not very well, Josh's dad. But I enjoyed it there. Good bunch. Good bunch of people all. Loads but I enjoy it loads better than professionals, honestly. Nice to see my pal John Fuchs there. He had a win and a loss. So a win and a loss for Dennis's gym. Uh, so Dennis saw. Dennis has got a kid there, 15 year old is it? Mike, Mikey Harrison, he's good as well. Uh, but he's two year behind that Eddie Hardy, he's really special him. He's already training up at McCracken's at EIS. I knew straight away, you know what? As soon as I seen him getting in ring, he just had an aura about him. I just, you know when you're watching all the amateurs from young little Archie, so that's you getting your channel in a bit, Porky. <laughs> Left me hanging. But uh, Archie's story, I'm gonna get you back for that. But uh, yeah, you see all them age groups going through, and then you saw last fight at night, semi final. I saw that kid getting in there. Yeah, he's the, he is the real deal. And do you know what? I've just seen him there, just how he was commanding. He's, I do know a little bit about boxing, but not that much. But, <laughs> but you just know how we were carrying himself, just watch his footwork, he takes centre up ring straight away and just, oh, 
like a like a like a rough rough diamond version of Mayweather. He's like he was that good, honestly. He he just wants polishing up him over the next probably four or five years, and I'll go out on a limb now, right? In fact, now I'm gonna tell you, he's he'll win a world title. That kid there, he'll win a world title. I was speaking to a couple of people uh, afterwards. I spoke to Josh Whaler about him. He beat one of Mickey's lads last year, and oh God. He's really good, him. Really good. He reminded me of when I went with to watch Jamie Rose racing at Cadwell Park, and there was a kid there on a Norton, a bloke about 32 year old, and they were throwing this Norton around Cadwell Park, and you could see it we all privateers and all novices and that. And when this guy come round, because you plonked in the same position, aren't you, at bike racing, watching and. When this guy come around, it was just smooth as old. Just some people have got it, haven't they? That kid there, he go out with him. That cop car behind me. No. No. Uh, yeah, he'll go out with him. He will go all the way. Remember the name. Remember your uncle Porky told you this first. Eddie Hardy. Steady Eddie Hardy. We're not steady about him, let me tell you. He's Real McCoy. Fighting out of Highfield Boxing Gym in Doncaster. How's about that? Fighting out of a gym in Doncaster. Eddie Hardy. They'll be gagging for him to turn pro all these round here. Old Steffi Bull and whatnot. Dennis will be. They'll all want that kid to turn pro, but. If they look after him right, it looks like he's got a good team behind him. If they look after him right, he'd like to think that he could go all the way in. God, I hope he don't end up with Because imagine it, Eddie Earn on Sky saying, I've got my new signing, Eddie Hardy. It's nearly Eddie Earn, but I did fight as Eddie Hills as an amateur. Yeah, well, nobody can find your records as Eddie Hills, can they? Eddie Earn. I've just been speaking to some people there, some amateur historians, and they've never heard of Eddie Hills! What a load of knackers! But yeah. Hey, Crusher! Crusher from uh, SBC at Sheffield. Crush! You and Eddie Hardy, you and Eddie Hardy might meet down the line. You never know, Crush. Crusher versus Eddie Hardy. For all the marbles. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna end up getting a pull here driving with lights on. People will think I'm a taxi. Yeah, Eddie Hardy, yeah. Really great show that. I tell you what, I'm really into it. I can see by I can see why Terry, old Terry C goes to all amateur stuff because I'll tell you what, amateur fighters are fast as lightning, you know, when you get them at 17 year old, but that kid there, oh, well, he's the real deal. The real deal. Yeah, the real deal. I feel like Terry Lawless, first time he saw Mike Tyson's bar. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I have to watch out for him. Eddie Hardy, right? We'll see where he goes. I'll tell you, Terry will be on to him now, looking at him, see what he does in ABAs, just to see if uh, if Eddie doesn't go all the way, he'll be pulling me about it. But there's one to watch. I'm like Chief Scout, aren't I, for Dennis Hobson? Maybe when I get back up to office. So Dennis, oh no, Dennis goes to Vegas tomorrow, doesn't he? When he comes back, I said, Dennis, Eddie Hard is the name. Icing people is the game. Woo! Did half catch that guy with that shot, didn't he? Oh, wow. Caught him on Edgar, he were rattled down to his boots. Oh, this time I've seen that with headgear on. But uh, yeah, enjoyed that. So a good show that Mick. Sorry you missed it. I'm a bit disappointed to see porky leaflets that I put on all seats on the floor and being swept up into a bin. Oh ho, Ringo. Oh, 
if we're going to stick it in this water first, shall we? We'll make short work of this hill. Hang on a minute. Put it in manual. There we go. I'm going out in mine if it's black ice I'll get stuck. That's useless as a fart mine in this weather. Ooh. So yep, it's all good I'm afraid, it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. I'm home now, milkshake. Get a milkshake down when I'm off to bed. Yeah, I'm off to bed. It's a good little setup down there, Mickey's Athletic. Nice to see a few people there. Packed! Yeah, it was packed. What have we got here? There's always one, isn't there? I mean, 30 mile an hour in a 60. Go on, lad. But it's a woman driver. It's a woman, I can tell by her. Big porky pushing uphill. You have a tecker? Another day, another dollar, and it is a dollar, or 50 cents, <laughs> another day, another dollar, um, right, I'm home now, put the kettle on, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, shout out to Climate Cool, South Yorkshire packaging. JJ Crump and Son and Innovation Alloys. Great night. But remember the name. Mick Whale. <laughs> now remember the name. Eddie Hardy. Eddie Hardy stole the show tonight. Stole it. I'm sorry.